Hello, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, I'm Tara, in case you were unaware. Hello, what is up? Today, we are doing an update video because, well, the world is in shambles and I feel like lots of things happened right before the world shut down for me and, uh, we should talk about it. Today we are doing an update slash like Q and A video. I felt like this is a good time to do it. Just kind of catch you up on everything to do with, you know, my relationship, me living alone in quarantine, my neighbor, my home, my job, just kind of fill you guys in on some stuff. Also, since my last update, we have gained lots of new people. So hello to you if you're new, hello to you if you're old, hello if you're, you know, in the middle of that. Hopefully this video, you can get to know me a little bit more and answer some of the questions that you may have about a certain someone. Lots of reasons for this video. I have all of the questions. I have them all on my phone. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. No, do the whole thing. Also, I have a vlog channel where I post three times a week. So if you want more entertainment, I'm gonna have a link down below. Okay, so let's get started. First question, how do you stay positive with all of this going on? Honestly, every day is different. Some days I feel really good about working on myself and furthering my career or just kind of enjoying some time watching TV. And some days I feel really, really anxious. Uh, we There's no end date to this really. April 30th is the current end date of quarantine, but I fully expect them to extend that again through May. I don't know. I'm just, it's really hard not knowing. I'm a very like, I like to plan things and plan the future and not being able to do that gives me a lot of anxiety and also just like touching anything. I'm just so nervous that I'm going to end up getting sick and I am alone and I'm really nervous and I'm going to be sick and I won't be able to take care of myself. But besides that, <laughs> I feel okay. No, normally I, I really try to spin it into it. Like this is an opportunity to work on my, myself and whatnot, but it can be, it can be hard. So so I'm definitely not always positive about it. Are you becoming an alcoholic? Sorry, love you though. <laughs> so since quarantine has started, I have also been drinking a glass of wine a night. Not every night, but like at least every other night I've been having a glass of wine just to like close out the day. I don't classify that as like alcoholic territory. Maybe to some people that is, but to me, not so much. You know, we are living in weird times and I feel like one glass of wine is gonna be okay. Moving into things surrounding my job, because I get a lot of questions asking what I actually do, especially for those of you that are new here and like don't really know. So with that said, is your primary income from social media slash YouTube? I wanna learn more about you. Yes, my primary income is YouTube, along with my other social platforms. That is my main income. It took me many years to get to a place where this was my income and I'm grateful for it every single day. This is the coolest job I could have ever, ever dreamt of. But I also have a clothing store that I just launched a month ago. It's like an online boutique and it's so much fun, I love it. So that is another part of income and affiliate links. And yeah, there's lots of different streams of income, which I think is really cool. And I think it's also really important to have multiple streams of income. So if one of those streams, you know, maybe like dies or slows down for a moment, you have the other streams you can rely on. What's your posting schedule? So on my main channel, which is what you're watching right now, I post every Tuesday, Tara Tuesday. And then my vlog channel, I post three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know you don't do it for the money, but is the store financially helpful? First First of all, as much as I really love doing it as a hobby, it's definitely not just a hobby. I don't think most people start businesses as a like not for the money thing. I really wanted to start a store and have that be as a separate stream, you know, of income that was different from social media and me as a brand myself. So yeah, it's really cool that I get to have that as a side business that's making money for me and um, also really enjoy doing it. It's a really cool experience. At your old apartment, you used to get so many PR packages. Why'd they go down? So at my old apartment building in downtown, I lived there for four years and I had so many companies that had my address. So when I moved here, I was very selective with the companies and brands I wanted to give my address to. I just didn't want that many packages anymore and I said like, no way unless I really liked the product and the brand just because it was so wasteful. I mean, just so wasteful. I was getting packages every single day filled with products that I could never even find time to use. So it just didn't make sense. So that was fully my own intentions. Do you feel any new pressure since you've gained so much of a new following recently? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this is something that I really just didn't expect to happen. I was very comfortable in my growth on the internet. I was, it was very slow and steady and I was comfortable. I knew the averages that videos should be getting. I knew what my Instagram story views were like. I knew what likes I was gonna get on a photo. Like I was very comfortable with my averages and I knew what to expect. It is a totally different ball game now. <laughs> Ever since I started posting my videos about my neighbor on TikTok, Shout out to you guys from TikTok. Everything kind of changed, which is a little bit crazy because it just, I don't know, I just didn't really expect it. I knew I was posting these videos, but I just didn't realize the reach that TikTok had. Like my averages that I was used to have now doubled 
and it definitely creates a new sense of anxiety <laughs> because there's like double the amount of eyeballs I feel like watching every single day and that's double the amount of opinions and people that I can disappoint and it's stressful and I worry that since it happens so quickly that it's also going to die just as quickly. This is, I'm just being straight up honest here, yeah. So I definitely, there's definitely added pressure. At the same time, it's like the craziest, coolest experience watching all of these new people come in and say how they found me and appreciate these videos and I mean, it's really wild, it's really cool. So if you're new here, hi. Um, <laughs> I'm like nervous talking to these new people because I'm like, I hope you like me. I don't know, it's really weird. It's It was very unexpected. So I hope that you guys enjoy my content that isn't just about her. Okay, so my relationship, let's, let's talk about my relationship. I haven't seen Taylor on your story for a while. Did you guys break up? So, in case you didn't know, I had a boyfriend and uh, we are not together anymore. A few weeks after we broke up, I made a video on my second channel, kind of addressing it. I'm gonna have that link down below in case you guys wanna see more detail about why we broke up, but we did break up, happened to be <laughs> like the week before quarantine. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't have believed anyone if someone had said, ha ha, like you're gonna break up with your boyfriend and then you're gonna be alone for months. I would not have believed it. You seem to be doing a lot better this time around after breakup or is it just what you show? So I actually am doing really well, all things considered. When I made the decision to end the relationship, I really just wanted to find myself. I really wanted to gain independence, gain a new routine that was just me and like self-care driven. I just wanted to better myself. I felt like I just wasn't. I wasn't where I should be and I really wanted to like boost it and I just straight up wanted to be better. I just wanted to better myself. So, I mean, literally the universe pushed us into work on yourself territory. Broke up with my boyfriend who, you know, basically lived here and then all of a sudden I am dead ass alone. Dead ass alone. But this has literally given me the opportunity that I wanted in a very weird, skewed, messed up way. So I really do feel like I am okay and this has given me an opportunity to work on myself while everything is paused. The entire world is paused. It's like the weirdest experience in the world, but I am trying to look at it as a positive. Not the virus part, but like, the quarantine part. I'm trying to skew it into a positive. Obviously the, the virus cannot at all be skewed into a positive. Are you dating again? So as we all know, the world has shut down and uh, there are no bars or restaurants or anywhere you could meet a man. <laughs> but for fun, I have downloaded the apps and you know, while I'm sitting on my couch watching Tiger King, I'm just scrolling and like, talking to random guys, but I wouldn't consider it dating or anything like that. Moving on to questions regarding my neighbor. I get so many questions every single day on every single platform that I have, every single day. Is there a small part of you that is happy your neighbor is insane for the content? I would be lying if I said no, obviously. If I have to deal with a neighbor like that, I may as well find some kind of silver lining, which is this, the content has been so good for like, I, like I can't even believe it's real stuff. Like this is like straight out of a movie. So in that sense, it's been very entertaining for my life, for my friends, for my family, for you guys. It has obviously been very hard on me and my anxieties, but since the fence is up and like taken care of and she can no longer see me downstairs or my patio, I feel very good about it. I feel my anxieties lifting every single day. So yeah, I think it was, it was, a really weird thing to go through, but I'm happy that I had you guys to share it with. And yeah, if that's the silver lining, then so be it. Has your living situation improved since you put the fence up? Yes, 100% yes. After the fence went up, I didn't have any more interactions with her, which is amazing. Obviously she went on the radio. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that video down below. Actually, I'll just link the whole playlist with every single thing that has to do with her down below so that you can find everything. She hasn't sprayed me with a hose or yelled at me through the fence or anything like that. So I feel really at peace. I feel great. I feel like my life is back and I can live again. And yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I was a crazy neighbor, is she suing? So she's fine. She's doing her own thing. I mean, yes, she has a chair propped up at the top of her lawn that does face the building and like who knows what she's looking at because it's her only view. But I'm not letting it bother me anymore. I'm only in my bedroom at night and I close my blinds at night, so I really don't care. And she can't see anything down here. And that's all I cared about because this is where I spend most of my time. And uh, she has not served me yet. I have not had someone serve me. I was very anxious about that happening, but it's been a while since she said she was gonna sue me. So I'm assuming she is not suing because she would have done it if she was gonna do it. Are you still building another fence on the property line? So I don't have an update on this, but the HOA did say that they were gonna find a claim and get that land back and actually build a fence on the right property line. I just don't know where that is at in the process right now, but I will keep you guys updated if I hear more about that. And that's really it when it comes to my neighbor. I don't expect there to be any like crazy drama coming up. And then again, I have said that before and like then things happen. 
So it's, you know, I really don't know. I don't expect anything to happen, especially since it's been like a good month now since the fence has been up and I haven't had any issues. So I'm just hoping for the best. All right, now we have some like random ones that we'll just go over quickly. Why haven't you gotten a pet since you are alone? Animals are living, breathing species. And just because I'm alone doesn't mean that I can take care of an animal right now. I would love to have one. I love dogs so much. I love dogs, but at the same time, I just don't have the time to commit to an animal right now. Did the lip injections work? I don't know what this question really means because if you go and get lip injections, like you're gonna have lip injections. But in case you didn't know, I do have lip injections. I've been getting them for a couple of years now. Actually, this would be my third year. I just recently did it like a few months ago. I actually don't know when I did it. I'm, every day is blended. Like the months are blending. I don't, doesn't feel like April. doesn't feel like any day. But yeah, I've gotten my lips done for a while now. I've always gone to Laser Way and I've always loved my experience there. Especially the last time I went, I felt like it was just really, really good experience. They've always been really informative about what they're doing, what the product is and how to take care of it and how long it lasts. Lip injections typically last up to a year. Can be more, can be less depending on your metabolism. And yeah, I get it done like every year and a half, every year and I really love it. I love the way it looks. I'm really happy with it. I have a whole video on my latest experience getting my lips done so I'm gonna link it down below but I honestly really love Laser Way. I loved going there. I thought everyone was really professional. Do you regret buying a condo over a house with more privacy? Actually no. I've gone back and forth on this like dealing with the neighbor. I really definitely thought about that but now looking at it I'm actually really really happy that I ended up in a condo rather than like a, my own standalone house. Especially like being alone. I don't know. I just and I'm so young too that's also the thing i'm 25 years old i don't know if i think if i had bought a house and this is no shade to anybody this is just my own personal preference if i had bought a house it's like there's not as much to look forward to because you you've done it you know obviously you can move and like get a bigger house but i don't know i liked moving in steps you know moving from an apartment to a condo and then one day when I want to have a family move into a house, you know, like just steps. I didn't want to speed up my life too quickly and for me it would have felt that way. And last but not least, a very hard hitting question. When it rains, are you leaving your egg chair outside? I can't even tell you the amount of times I got that question because it was raining in LA yesterday and so many people were blowing me up like, oh my god, what are you doing with your egg chair? You have white cushions. I would never let my egg chair, in case you don't know, I have an egg chair, the beautiful one from Target that I have dreamt of for literally two years. I would never let that chair get ruined, ever, 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 ever. So the night before it said it was gonna rain, I took those cushions inside and they're sitting in the corner there, safe and sound, not dirty at all. And then once it stops raining this week, they will go back outside. And then if it rains again, they'll go back inside. So yeah, that's, that's my plan with the egg chair. Thank you for your concern. <sighs> okay, I've been talking for like an hour straight. We'll see how long this video ends up being, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you just enjoyed this entertainment if it was entertaining at all. I hope you guys are doing well. This is a really crazy time and we are all in it together. Like literally we are all in it together. And if you ever just need to talk or rant, you can absolutely DM me on Instagram and I will do my best to get back to you. Cause I understand it's hard. Every day is different. Every day there's new, new coming out and it's it's a really scary time but if you are in a home with people you care about or just in a home by yourself there are things to be thankful for you know having a roof over your head having food in the fridge there are so many things to be thankful for in a time like this when not everyone is as lucky so definitely make sure to count your blessings every day and uh, we'll get through this one way or another <laughs> I love you and I will see you guys in the next video